Well, it's the second weekend of the city of Columbus's new safety measures in response to a recent string of violence in the short north. NBC 4's Joe Collins is live in the short north with the impact of Operation Burnout over its first weekend. Joe. That's right, Matthew. And right here in Short North, reactions have been mixed so far as some are liking the new security measures and some feel that businesses are really being affected by it. On the business side of things, one of the hardest hit areas is on food cart vendors who are required to close at midnight rather than their normal time of 2 a.m. One vendor told NBC4 that on a usual night, he makes anywhere from five to $800. Last weekend, he made a combined $80. Bars were asked not enforced to close at midnight. Most of them chose to stay open until two. On the police side of the spectrum, last weekend alone, they made more than seven felony arrests, recovered seven handguns, and over 200 traffic tickets were handed out. Several citizens welcome the extra security who want people to come to the area and experience its entertainment values. If someone visits, this is where I bring them. So if, if, if it negatively impacts them and it negatively impacts me because I've been here for so long and I want my city to progress, they're doing something and it's I feel secure. I feel I feel like uh, I feel secure. Yeah. As these ordinances will remain in place this weekend as the city says they need to see more results before they're able to make a decision. Local for you in, sh in the short north, Joe Collins, NBC4. Joe, thank you very much.